evening, first program parents and kindergarten parents. We're really glad to have you tonight for HCAS Back to School Night. My name is Nathan Bryant, and I am the assistant principal for HCAS, and also a person that has the privilege to be working with first program and kindergarten this year. Uh, beyond welcoming you tonight, I wanted to let you know a little bit more about standards-based grading, which is something we'll be working to develop for first program this year. Um, to put it simply, standards-based grading is about having a specific kind of skills and content of what students are supposed to learn. Think of it kind of like a checklist. And this checklist is what many U.S. and international universities expect of students to have mastered before they start their university um, career. So we're now integrating all of these standards to be a part of what our focus is for students' learning. And then our assessments will be based off of these standards. So what's the good news for students and parents? The good news is, number one, uh, all of these checklist items universities expect will now be a part of our assessments of what students have to grow, to develop, uh, to master. Number two, what I think is really best about standards-based grading is that each grade level is tied to specific skills and content expectations. So in other words, a great question we always get asked is, how can my child improve? With standards-based grading, there's no mystery to that question. It's laid out very clearly. In order to get uh, a level of proficiency, there's these set skills and expectations. And if you wanna see your child improve to a higher level, we lay it out very specifically what your child has to do to improve. Um, so we're working on this year, and you'll learn more about that with your teachers over this year. And we're excited to start this. We're looking forward to hearing from you and your children um, how this program goes for ACAS. Thank you, have a good night. Uh, my name is Shad Henderson. I am the EAL coordinator here at uh, HCAS. Uh, I started last year here at a really good time. We revamped the EAL program, uh, made it a bit more rigorous, and separated the classes more. Uh, it went quite well, and this year we're doing the same thing. Uh, we're trying to up the level of English proficiency of all the students here in the first program in kindergarten. Uh, uh, also with the EAL coordinator position, I'm also helping a lot with the first program in kindergarten. We brought in a new curriculum this semester uh, the, for the whole year and for the future years. It's called Logic of English. It's uh, based on the science of reading. Uh, therefore, your kids are actually going to learn to read a lot better this year. And I'll be overseeing a lot of the uh, development within the program, working with teachers for best practices and working with those uh, struggling students who have a lot of EAL concerns uh, by taking them and doing some pullouts uh, throughout the weeks, every week, and then offering those EAL classes in the evening. Uh, there'll also be some push-ins so I can come in and monitor them, see how best to help them. And if any parents are out there who have concerns or questions, I'm more than willing to give you my time and explain some things to you, how we're doing things at the school, and what can be done at home to help your uh, struggling student or just any practices in general. So don't hesitate to reach out. Again, my name's Shad. Uh, I'm really happy to be here, and I have a really good uh, feeling that this is gonna be a really good year. All right, have a good day. Hi, welcome. My name is Miss Mack. I'm a third grade teacher, and I'm representing the teachers on this back to school welcome. What I would like to talk to you today is about Writer's Workshop. So the goal of Writer's Workshop is to create interests and generate independent writers in our first program students. Um, the writing process is kind of like a circle. So we start with a mini lesson where teachers explicitly teach a skill and then students get 20 to 30 minutes to write and practice that skill. They generate their own pieces, they go through the brainstorming process independently, and we teach them how to edit and revise their own work, and then they choose one piece that they would like to publish. And the goal is to have them go through this entire process by themselves, and they'll be creating multiple, multiple published pieces. We'll be working on narrative writing, opinion writing, information writing, and then each grade level has their own specific unit that they write about. Um, yeah, so we're very excited. This is really good for students because it helps to create an interest. It gets them excited about writing and it teaches them independence. And they'll be able to problem solve their own issues as they come up. I'm very excited for this and all the teachers are on board and we're really looking forward to seeing what our students 
produce and looking forward to sharing it with you. So I hope you enjoyed tonight and welcome to the first program.